No, but like you can just lay on one side. Or like you can like melt like a little hole into it on the plastic. Right. So when I actually All right. Are you guys ready? You guys are having a very lively conversation. Are you guys good to go? Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's talk about one of these triangles. I don't care which one. Let's say we're talking about the 60 degree triangle. Okay. Everybody ready? Do you remember that the blue part is the x value? Yeah. And the x value is the same thing as? Cosine. Cosine. Good. Cosine. 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 Okay. How about this here? Sorry, what? Oh, sine. Sine is what you're talking about? Yes. This one is the same thing as sine. This one is the same thing as cosine. Cosine and sine. What's this? One. That's one. Be, how do you know it's one? Right, because it's called a unit circle. Okay, let's do the Pythagorean theorem on this. A squared plus B squared equals one, right? Or A squared plus B squared equals C squared. But here it's, <coughs> it's X squared plus Y squared equals 1, or 1 squared. You should write it too. But like you said, x is the same thing as cosine. So cosine, and then look, the square goes before the variable. So the cosine squared of theta plus the sine squared of theta equals 1. Sine squared, cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta equals 1. The reason why they put that square right by the cosine and the sine is to show you that it's not the angle that's being squared, it's the cosine of the angle that's being squared. The other two formulas are pretty sim simple. Here's what this one is. Cosine squared theta equals 1 minus sine squared theta. Where'd that one come from? Well, the whole thing comes from the Pythagorean theorem, but this one comes from just subtracting sine squared over there. Same thing. What if I wanted it to equal sine squared theta? It would move the cos squared. The what? The cos squared theta. Cosine. Oh, the cosine squared? Oop, I wrote sine twice. Cosine. Do you see how I just essentially wrote the same formula four different ways? It's all the same thing. X squared plus Y squared equals 1. Cosine squared plus sine squared equals 1. And then them just moving around. This is the most common formula you will see in trigonometry. Cosine squared plus sine squared equals 1. It always works, by the way. Uh, hey everybody, grab your calculator. You need to look at it? Prove it to yourself. Yeah. Everybody go to the mode on your calculator. Make sure you're in degrees for me. All right. Go to the mode on your calculator. Make sure that you're in degrees, not radians. Okay. Now, you're going to say the cosine of, pick an angle. Don't pick 80. I picked 80. You don't pick 80. And then hit put a square in there. It's squaring, by the way, the whole cosine of 80, not squaring just 80. And then write plus the sine of, again, I'm using 80. You can use whatever number you want, as long as it matches the first number you chose to use. Just pick two of the same number, hit enter. What number did you guys pick? 60. 80. So it's cosine 80 squared plus sine 80 squared. What did you pick? 45. 45, and it worked? 
Georgia, what'd you pick? Did it work? Yeah. Okay. What'd you pick? 60. 60? Anybody pick a weird number? 58, 96. Zero works. Nice. Works for everything. Uh, always works. All right, so now I'm going to show you how we can use that um, with two pretty easy examples. Okay. So. We're going to do two examples. Everybody write this down. Example one. All right. Everybody write down that sine of theta equals two-thirds. The name of the lesson is Pythagorean Identities, Day 2, 5.2. Today is 11.7. Can you tell why these are called Pythagorean? Because that's where I came from, I'm using the Pythagorean theorem. All right, we are going to find all six trig functions, just using that sine equals two-thirds. So we just found out this, right? Sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals one. So I'm going to start by plugging in two-thirds right here. Two-thirds squared plus cosine squared theta equals one. Now what should I do? Solve, um, simplify two-thirds squared. Yeah, which is what, four-ninths? Yeah. I'm going to turn this over. I'm going to write nine-ninths over here. Can you tell me, can you tell why I'm doing that? They're the same number. Mm -hmm. it's, just... Yeah. I'm anticipating that I'm going to subtract four-ninths from both sides, so I'm just getting it ready. And I'm going to subtract 4 ninths. Surprise, surprise. Now I have cosine squared theta equals 5 ninths. OK, now what should I do? Huh? A log? Nope. I would do a log if the power, if it was in the power. But right now, I'm just trying to get rid of a square. Square root of over. Square root. Square root. Cosine of theta equals the square root of 5 over 3. All right, so now I know cosine. And now I know sine. Mm -hmm. 